We begin with firefighters in South Jersey battling a forest fire that has consumed 12,000 acres. Good evening. I'm Jessica Cartalia. Yuki is off tonight. Chopper 3 is live above the Wharton State Forest, where crews are making substantial progress, but there is still a lot of work to do. The so called Mullica River Fire stretches across Washington, Shemong, Hamilton, and Mullica Townships. Eyewitness News reporter Kerry Garrado is in Shemong with the very latest on the firefight. Fire crews say the cause of this fire is not natural. Right now, they say it's about 70% contained and they are still working on it. I saw the smoke kind of rising and turning like an orangish color. It looked like a scene from a movie, like a like the end of the world type thing. Thick plumes of smoke billowing in the air in South Jersey. Fire crews are actively battling the Mullica River fire that spread rapidly in Wharton State Forest. Crews escorted Eyewitness News back into the forest to give a closer look at the firefight. At one point, the fire moments away from destroying Paradise Lakes Campground. Owner Scott Miller says he got the terrifying phone call. And say, listen, we have a major fire. It's headed your way. Can you get your people out? Miller endlessly thanked crews for saving lives and his business. It's scary because uh, we could have been trapped. Because if, if it jumped there and went into the and trapped us inside, but them guys held it off. And so we owe forest fire the biggest thanks in the world. And the effort to control it hasn't been an easy one. Crews say the fire was fueled by the wind and burning in a remote area that's hard to access. So now we have to worry about trees falling across the road or worse yet, falling on our staff that are in there working. So um, the hazards certainly increase in the evening. Firefighters also did controlled burns in the area to fight fire with fire. What we do is we basically build a box. We control the perimeter so that the fire can't escape the area that we want it to go. And with acres and acres burning and hours and hours of hard work, crews are asking for patience. This is also projected to be the largest wildfire in New Jersey since 2007. In Shimon Kerry Corrado, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. This 